Hey, Alex. How are you doing? Okay. Hey, what's this thing? What is gadget <laughs> with your background? You it caught looks, it, huh? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what what it looks like. Is this a helicopter? It looks like a drone. I, I don't know. What, what is that? Well, this is the uh, e taxi, or what they call air taxi. And they are the first uh, flying air taxi in China. And uh, they just recently, well, not recently, but last year, October, they already got the approval from the Chinese regulator to uh, to be uh, flown anywhere in China. Yeah, this is a two-seater. It is a taxi for hire. Yep. This is the uh, for hire. Right. Exactly. Well, do you know that it, it is, is it... Um, Manned or unmanned? That means I mean, they, the it comes to you pick it up, but is there somebody driving it or is it just... No, this is unmanned. This is unmanned. So you get, Autonomously I get control. in there, I yep. get in there and tell the control center, I want to go to, <laughs> I don't know, whatever it is. And it well, will just actually, take off and, and fly you, drop, drop you off there. Yeah, actually, I, I have to correct myself. As a Our matter of fact, they actually control from a from a command center, and they have a specific point to point destination. And it's a lure okay. To the oh. so, so they have, they have a predetermined route. Yep, exactly. Have a route. Exactly. Okay. We have so no it can only. So, for example, no. if I if I'm, I may just ride on my own on with, with my passenger. There is there's no pilot. Wow. No pilot. No pilot. It's all autonomous and it's controlled uh, remotely in a command center, and uh, it can only carry two passengers. As we enter 2024, and uh, it can fly uh, under 100 kilometers per hour, and can only airborne for 25 minutes. So that is the uh, limitation, and it has only 25 minutes radius. So it probably won't be too far. You cannot fly from Shanghai right. to Beijing. Something right. Like that. Right. It's not. It's not like a helicopter. So, but then uh, this is really the beginning. This is a new, uh, new form of uh, traveling, right? If you are in a hurry, uh, if you know exactly where you want to go, uh, I don't know the exact route right now, but I think that they're expanding. And the uh, last thing, last time I, I saw the uh, YouTube, that uh, it's actually um, in Guangzhou somewhere, the headquarters in Guangzhou. So um, they already have a path from the headquarters to a uh, to another point to another destination. And uh, if it's from headquarters, at least they can so-called ferry. Right. Maybe some of the executives between certain points. That right. within the 25 minutes flight time. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so it's it sounds interesting. I guess if you commercial this flight demonstration, predetermined route, I can, I can imagine that because if it's 25 minutes, right. then you cannot say that, oh, I, all of a sudden I want to go somewhere else. You know? But I think it's a, yeah. it's a first start. I mean, it's, 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 it's basically it will be Uber on the sky. Yeah, exactly. And uh, but then the, this is more because um, they spend a lot of uh, emphasis on safety, and that's why anywhere uh, within the route or the ground is so is all empty. Make sure there's there's no uh, you know no uh, pedestrian or no houses or no cars, and if, if there's any emergency, they can land right away without. So they also make sure that they they choose a flight path right. that is safe. And exactly. The and guess what? Uh, I got some numbers. Uh, they have actually conducted more than uh, 45,000 test flights with 500 tests over 65 categories. Now, I don't know what are the categories, but, uh, you know, they have they've gone a you know, uh, long way to get the uh, airworthiness certification. And uh, uh, this is in China, but I just uh, done some research, and there's a there's an equivalent company in the U.S. too. It's called Risk. W I S K Risk. Yeah. And uh, and uh, they um, they theirs is bigger. It's four seater. And they already got the certification from FAA uh, back in 2022. And uh, they expect to uh, go into full production in 2024 this year. So we will see. We will see how we uh, really uh, measure up to uh, this Ehan uh, air taxi. But uh, uh, you know, for your information, 
uh, this particular air taxi market, uh, according to research, is it has a whopping one trillion by the end of the decade, and nine trillion by the end of 2050. Well, it's a big market. You know how how busy uh, in Beijing area, in Shanghai area, when the, when you are in the traffic jam. <laughs> Just imagine that, right? And if you can, uh, you know, uh, ride in this uh, air taxi, you save a lot of time. And uh, I, I'm sure, that, you know, this will this will be uh, very popular, especially in the uh, highly dense dense uh, population like Shanghai, Beijing, uh, you know, in San Francisco or in New York or Tokyo, right? So I think that's, uh, you know, uh, we'll see about. Uh, how how we how we have unfolds in the coming in the coming months and, and in the coming year, but I think that uh, this is really an intriguing uh, new invention, right? And uh, this is you know, once again this is another um, China uh, innovation um, uh, uh, product that uh, you know really rocked the world. What do you think? Are you going to ride one of these? Well, there's something that I, this is swirling in my mind right now when I hear <laughs> I would, um, I, I, I won't say I'm, I would be one ahead, of the early adopters. Our I mean, imagine, I mean, you, you, you look up the sky, you have thousands of these things flying up there. <laughs> hey, you, you hear that Together, even for Tesla, now that they have uh, been around for over a decade, right? I mean, the, right. the, the self-driving cars have been known to uh, cause a lot of accidents. Yeah, I know. I know. Some of them are fatal, right? Yeah, so self-driving technology is still... An indelible mark I, I, the world. I, don't think, I, I don't think it's a proven thing Our for this time. Commitment to promoting and certification even lately, has yielded okay, I'm not trying to put this, put this thing down, but it's always good to the hear world check out of innovation. Don't you, and about what, two weeks ago? Hmm. Even in Japan, for the, global the, uh, com the commercial airline that crashed on the uh, crash onto a coastal <laughs> guard uh, right the plane and they landed. Yeah, on the, on the, the runway. Died or uh, the other small Continuing plane died. So how did this happen? I mean, it's just all the, the air traffic controllers. I mean, they have all kinds of people are watching out. I mean, true, true. Right? true. But true. imagine you have thousands of these things up in the sky and. Wow, I don't know how safe it is. Like, there's, there's nobody manning it. I mean, it's all controlled from the ground. So, well, I know, I don't know. What is the risk? I don't know. Yeah. It takes a little while to uh, get the uh, acceptance. But I think, hey, you know, that's technology. It's just like anything else. It's just like AI, right? I mean, now people just started to talk about, uh, you know, uh, controlling the AI, uh, uh, set up the policy to protect. Uh, the people and, and uh, you know the privacy and the stuff. And again, you know, I really want to talk about AI in our in our future episodes, Alex. I think that that's a big topic. And uh, what what does that mean to uh, uh, to people like like us, right? To people, to ordinary people, uh, to the world, to, to business. I think that's been uh, you know talks about uh, in Europe. I believe they they already passed the law in Europe about uh, controlling AI, right? Anyway, I don't want to expand too much on AI. We were gonna save it for our next episode. But uh, until then, um, I, I think uh, this is a, a great innovation. And uh, if anyone in the audience, uh, you know, bomb me a comment that uh, would you ever written into one of these air taxi uh, in your lifetime. <laughs> and uh, do let us know.